Hello, welcome back. This is the Spirit Mongo 187, and welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. Well, we have played some Zana of the Mist, and we have lost some matches, and we're now switching over to Zeladar. Um, yeah, I really like to play Zana of the Mist, and I tried a for to build a 40 card deck, but um, it's pretty hard to play uh, and to deal. Uh, lots of damage because I have really a problem with the deck when I have like 40 cards in it or a bit more um, I'm almost never able to kill my opponent so maybe uh, some of you also have the problem with Zana so let me hear in the comments uh, so we're playing against Amber Ray now uh, it's a pretty nice deck um, let's get rid of that mage, do we want that? And yes, we'll get rid of one death mage and play our Iron Knight Garage. So let's give her one of the high half fun. Well, when I played the Emma Rain deck, it was really a 50 50 against Zeladar because Zeladar is really a tough matchup. Well, I didn't play Zeladar as much as Amber, so I'm a bit more experienced with Amber. And so our rating is 255. And my goal is to reach with Zeladar at least with 260 rating points. And from that on, um, yeah, we we'll just go to try to play some Zeladar matches and get some more rating points. So there's a Blood Frenzy. So I have an answer to that. Uh, the Surf dies in my hand. Um, well, he is gaining one. One point if I play him. So let's uh, say we are going to um, sacrifice. What do we want to sacrifice? Uh, let's just get rid of the Fury and Terror and play the Death Mage. Give him one damage, but he also gave one life. And we'll attack him in the face. So if the Death Mage dies, the champion is also going to die. This turn, I think he's going to play a sword as Jeweler's Dream. He's going to attack with it. Probably go to destroy the Death Mage or hit me in the face and play another a new champion when that one dies. Or uh, a Pune, maybe. And what I want to do next turn is to use my Server Dice on his Blood Frenzy because I really like to get him. I don't want him to draw any more cards, so I really want to get rid of that. There goes my Iron Knight Garage. And 2 damage to my Death Mage. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of the yeah, Fury and Terror, I think. And we will play this one on this Blood Frenzy. We do not need to deal this one damage, I think. So we are going to shoot him in the face. Two. Taking him down to 27. And we'll end turn. So we save up our shadow energy. So the ability of Zelda is really nice. Really nice. Especially because you can use it if your opponent doesn't have two allies in play. You can just damage your opponent himself. But dealing 6 damage with that ability, divided between 2 targets, is so nice. And there comes an Enrage. So he doesn't have anything good in his hand, or he does not want to sacrifice anything. Because yeah, that, that Enrage is not really, was not really necessary to play. So he does not have any allies. Um, but let's just get rid of this one. To play and then uh, draw some cards, get rid of the garage and we'll enter and we'll taking some damage sorry it gets a little bit of cold a little bit snotty <laughs> so let's just see what he's going to play uh, this turn oh, I have some uh, layer seductress ready Useless, 
now because he was not able to stun anything so he does not have any good allies in his hand or they all cost too much to play uh, what I want to do is here is to play the death mage I want to draw some cards so I think I'm just going to sacrifice this one so I can play the death mage give her one damage and I can draw some cards I should have drawn the cards first um, so I'm immune to abilities expert with shadow energy uh, which one do we want to keep? Um, hmm. they're both not that important uh, let's just get rid of the garage probably we're going to sacrifice it anyways so now we can use our ability to give them both 3 damage and this is almost on, yeah, there's one durability left. And he is already back at 3 shadow energies. So next turn, he's going to kill it, but I don't think he's going to kill it this turn. But I really want to use this one to bring back the damage. Oh, there's another blood frenzy, that sucks. So he's going to draw more cards. But that could give him a win. So we have this one for 3, this one for 4, I would really love to play them both. Um, let's just, shall we get rid of the Shadow Knight? Or oh, get rid of this one and play this one, we have one 7. Or we'll just skip it, draw some cards and play this one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to draw some cards. Get rid of the foo. Which one do we want to check for? Yeah, let's just get rid of the bad sander. And we'll play this one, that mage. Use our ability. Take him down for two. And we'll add turn. <laughs> so it looks like he plays a little bit of the almost the same cards that I played before with my Amber Rain deck because he's yeah, stuck at 4 resources, maybe he does not need more and when you play that Amber Rain deck with only small allies I played it the same with not, uh, no allies that cost more than 5 resources or 4 uh, this sucks because he's now be able to pop up his Jeweler Dream for 4 he can take them both out and he's going for the damage. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, crippling blow. That sucks. Um, interference. Um, let's get rid of this one. And we will. I should check this one. But I do not know, if I use this ability, will it get plus one attack? Or does it stay at zero? Well, we're not going to figure that out this turn, so maybe next turn. Let's get rid of one mind control. This is a pretty nice card. And we'll just end turn. With this card, I am able to remove his blood frenzy or his rage and switch it to my hero so that would be a very nice card to play next turn to remove his card drawing engine so I hope he doesn't have a jeweler's dream but there is one he didn't have enough resources that's nice but I'm taking some damage here and I don't like that so if I'm going to steal the blood frenzy um, yeah, one more. Throw it away. Um, let's just cast this one. Use its ability. So we're just going to steal the blood frenzy here. Target them. And we are going to draw some cards. And get rid of. The more of a deck light. We'll just enter here. 
the next turn we can steal the enrage give us that health I think I hope <laughs> because this turn is going to deal me some damage but he at least he's just not drawing any cards so. and this armor has like two defense so it's going to prevent some damage if he's not going to destroy it nope he does not so that's zero from the fleet food messenger there comes another so the durability is going down pretty quick uh, how much does it have left? only one oh then i'm not able to steal the enrage well that sucks so there comes a lot of allies um, yes um, this has to the width left what are we going to do? We are going to let him attack himself. And we are going to play the dead mage, dead collector. And we'll enter. I'm taking 5 damage next turn, bringing me down to 9. At least 5 damage, maybe as an all on the brave or something. Because he can also switch some cards from his deck, so that would suck even more. And I really needed that armor of mine for one more turn so I could switch the enrage. But one fleet for the message really drove dirt in there. So he attacked me with haste, destroying my armor. And next turn we can use our ability again. I hope <laughs> we still live then. Yeah, probably. I think I will survive this turn. But he has a lot of health, and I'm losing one health each turn. So yeah, but he. I really needed to remove that blood friends from him. I was going to take another twelve, nine. I'm going down to eight, I think. Yes. But another crippling blow. Wow. It sucks. Oh, what do we have here? Um, two, three damage. I can move the buff on the. Um, Three damage, take me down to four. I should have kept the other card that destroys a weapon. But let's just play this one, play this one, and play this one. And are we going to damage these two guys? No, we're just saving up our ability and enter. So this is a really close match. It's really... I do not know if I'm going to survive it, but... Oh, uh, not a crippling blow. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm able to destroy his allies next turn, but... It's pretty scary, because he's going to draw two cards. Let's just keep this. Never know when we need it. Use our ability. Throw away one morbid acolyte. Um, and well, we're just going to use our ability here. Target them both. 
find out where tree tree life tree at. Just attack him, take him down. And yeah, well we have to attack him. Take him down. So if you have a jeweler's dream, I'm dead. Let's cast this one. Remove the blood friendly. Maybe I should have kept it for his enrage, but how many jewelers rooms do you use? One, two, only two. Well, he has three cards, sixty cards. Life is left in his deck, so there's a bit, pretty big chance he has a jewelers room. <laughs> that would be a game. Oh yeah, well, I'm still. Uh, I haven't played Zelda as much as I did uh, the Emerald Index, so I'm still practicing, and we're still getting better, I think. <laughs> and there comes another Fleet Foot Messenger. He's going to kick me down to two health. Yep. And it's our turn again. Well, let's just keep all the cards in our hand. Use our ability. Yes, that's nice. Uh, this. Gosh, this one we definitely has to use the ability. Just take a cash. Put damage in for two. Taking another three. For another two. I think. Maybe I'm not dead yet. If he doesn't have a reserve weapon. Or. Let's just test this out. Not stage at zero. Okay, now we know that for sure. So if he has a reserve weapon on that, if he has a fleet foot messenger and a jeweler's dream on that, I really need to survive this turn. If I survive this turn, uh, I'm almost pretty much safe. And I play one infinity core in this deck, but I'm thinking about putting inside uh, two of them. If you draw it in the early game, it really sucks in my opinion, because you're not going to use it, because Saladar is pretty much a rush deck, keeping up the pressure. But in the mid and in the late game, as in this situation, wow. It comes as a gift, and yep, it gives me the game. Drawing that infinity core is really nice. And uh, we won, after all, so we're going up with the rating to 257. And yeah, I really think this was a, a long match, but pretty exciting. Uh, it shifted sometimes, uh, upper hand, so I was a better board control than he had the uh, board control. And yeah, I was at low light. So it was pretty exciting. And I hope uh, you also like this match uh, and all the other fits. And uh, yeah, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next match again with Zeladar. Cheers!